Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel guys tonight We have some predictions for the Serie A, which is gonna be in my opinion this Friday. I don't think EA will not Do the league one last yeah, always EA does the league one last um, For a team in the season, so I'm expecting Serie A to be the next upcoming uh, League available, but we'll I guess we'll end up seeing what happens uh, if you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. Um, the Serie A also should be coming with the Eredivisie. So there's another really good league uh, in a, available in packs, which is really a good thing because you're gonna we're going to get some crazy players. I'm going to drop an Eredivisie prediction this weekend. I'm not going to do it with the Serie A. I believe with the objectives one, which we're going to show you guys, we have a predicted objectives thing. Um, there's going to be a couple of Eredivisie. I'm not going to be able to avoid that, but the Eredivisie team, not trying to include that in here. Um, but Serie A looks really good, man. There are some really good players. Um, we're not going to get everything right, so I always ask you guys the prediction videos, man. Just try to respect it. Um, Patrick, Simple Blue, is a guy that I work with a lot of graphics together. So he's helped me out a lot with my Instagram and just things like that. He's always been a good friend for a couple of years. So he always does his predictions, and then we kind of we kind of go over them on a video. We talk about a couple of the guys that I'm really looking forward to, uh, but they are mainly his predictions, but we go over kind of what we're thinking and kind of more what you guys could expect uh, in the upcoming week. Okay, guys, so to start off, we have a pretty insane selection of players. Um, Chesney is going to be the first guy that we're going to be going with, but I think the one that's the most interesting, Theo Hernandez. I think Theo Hernandez, guys, has the potential uh, to almost have maybe one of the greatest left-back cards of all times. I, I don't know his uh for birthday and kind of what that's like i've heard it's a little stiff but hopefully with this one he's had a good year he gets the agility balance boost that he needs that would be really ideal a Serbi's not going to be a center back let's not milk around it or anything that anybody is too interested in uh bonucci i don't think as well with the low pace is going to be that good quadrado is an interesting one quadrado i think is going to get one um he does have five star skills and he's a right back so it's going to be interesting to see I think EA will keep him right back because he's kind of been playing right back, to be honest. Don't know how good of a card that is. And I think it's really important investment-wise, guys, to see these predictions and see who's going to be potentially in the team of the seasons. And then kind of look to go invest in other ways, right? If there's a right back like Quadrado, there might be a lot of other better options other than Quadrado. You know what I'm saying? Like that are not in team of the season. A lot of times we're seeing these kind of things rise. Um, they're not in a in a position that's in team of the season when people are trying to make the whole league teams um, I think the other week Schultz uh, Schultz this week for Bundesliga went up like a ton So it's different things like that uh, Makes it investable. We've got Malinkovic Savage as well who kind of had that peak on FIFA 18 I think it was um, You know never really like a full meta player since then But again, we're still predicting that he has 78 pace 89 shooting 91 passing 92 dribbling 90 defending 94 physical and still should be um, an insane card. I think Luis Alberto is going to be really good this year. I, I will see how he comes out to play. Um, but Luis Alberto's had a fantastic season. I wouldn't be surprised if EA gives him a 96 or 97. Lots of have been really good. And I think he's already had a 90 on his headliner. So with some of the boosts that EA have given, I wouldn't be surprised if they go crazy. Ilicic might be higher rated than 96. I also wanted to say that as a disclaimer based on how EA have done the rating so far. We've got 96 for Ilicic at the moment. But I think there's a very likely chance that EA can go ahead and make Illicic like a 97-98. Uh, just with the season that he had. I think Atalanta is one of the highest scoring teams of all time. And if you've seen them play this year, Atalanta score a lot of goals. They're super entertaining to watch. So that would be cool. Paulo Dybala, uh, hoping for a central version of this guy. Uh, and I'm hoping also, you know, EA did the weak foot upgrade with Haaland. Hopefully they do that with Dybala. Um, I know that Dybala works with, like he has a brand thing with EA. I'm really hoping. I think a lot of the community is also hoping because Dybala is really like just a tad away from being super meta in this game. If he had a four-star weak, weak foot in this game, I think it would be unbelievable. He'd be right in my squad right away. Um, and I think it would force me to go ahead and get Ronaldo as well. You guys can see there. We've got Immobile as a 97. Uh, crazy year with Lazio as well. 93 pace, 99 shooting, and 96 dribbling, 90 physical. Cristiano Ronaldo, it's going to be really interesting to see what EA does. I think he's going to get a 99. Um, I also think that he may actually, uh, he may be better in a couple aspects than the team of the year. I think the only thing is that the team of the year will always have the physical. I think we've seen it with Messi last week that Messi kind of kept the physical. But again, EA is EA and we'll we'll see what happens. But none of these guys are going to be, I think, too cheap. I think Illicic will be affordable. Alberto will be affordable. Hernandez is going to be a lot. Um, Savage might be mid Kind of affordable, not really. Dybala is going to be a lot. Uh, Immobile won't be super crazy. 
um, because of the way the game kind of plays. But obviously, if he gets any crazy boost, he might be the Ronaldo. It's going to be a ton. So we look a little bit more into it, guys. We've got Donnarumma, um, Kolarov as well. Kolarov is always in the mix there. De Vrij looks pretty usable. Um, there's not a lot of fast center backs from what I see. Um, so that will be interesting to see. Um, I think Smalling is probably going to be the one of the... I mean, Smalling could be the best Serie A center back. And if you've played his headliners card this year, you know that it is a really good card. Like, Smalling's headliners card this year is very solid. So we'll kind of see how that pans out. It's going to be interesting to kind of see uh, the dynamic of how that works with Smaldini. Um, I think other standout players in our prediction um, that I really am looking forward to. I, I mean, Lukaku, obviously, guys, had a great year, but... I think Lukaku is always going to be limited by his balance in FIFA. Balance is always something that kills Lukaku, man. Um, it's just something that like never really makes him truly usable. Raja Golan's a big guy as well. It's a big FIFA card. I think he's going to get one because I think what I've seen so far is that EA are trying to do their best to just make money off the packs. So they're really tossing in a lot of the old FIFA favorite guys. That's why I think Smalling, Smalling, should, Smalling had a really good year, but Smalling I think is a lock. Nangolan's probably a lock. Gomez could be really good. Alejandro Gomez this year could be fantastic. You guys know... The way the game plays, it's very nice to have players of small agility. Um, not sorry, not players that are small with high agility, high balance, good reactions, things like that. That's why we see the Neymars, the Coutinho's, the Messi's, uh, the Eusebio's, these types of players, Cruyff, uh, really be good this year because of the way that the game kind of caters towards those players. But again, I mean, I think we'll see. Um, we'll see kind of how EA play their cards. I mean, there's obviously a lot of players that there's still a couple of players that are big deal players in this area that we don't have in the prediction. So maybe they might throw them in to make extra money. And I think as a whole, our ratings are re really low. And I think we do it that way just so that we don't overhype the prediction because EA this year have been going all out with the ratings. So I would expect based off this video, guys, you will probably see much higher rated players. Like I, I, I really think so, man. I think they're going to give these guys way higher ratings, and I think you guys will be surprised by that. But I really do think that that's kind of the way that EA will do it. Um, a good team of the season overall, I think Ronaldo, Dybala, Hernandez, Savic, Ilicic, um, Smalling, Nangolan, Gomez. These are probably some of more of the standout players that we're going to be looking forward to uh, trying out and using. Not only this, guys, we're going to get into a quick little objectives thing. So we always make one of these just for fun. Um, you guys can see we have Huntelar included for the objectives for the Eredivisie. That is going to be, I think, the league with this league. Um, we've got a wing. We've got a wide mid here. I forget. I think he plays for Sassuolo. I don't know how to say. I don't know if that's the right team, but I think that's uh, where this player plays for. Um, so, you know, I don't know if the objective players, guys, are going to be crazy. That's also the thing that's tough. Um, I think they're going to do a couple flashback SBCs with the Serie A for the SBCs. We kind of thought that Brozovic might get one. That was kind of a player that everybody was really liking. I think it was in FIFA 17, maybe. Um, and maybe he'll get more pace than that. We're thinking maybe they'll give another center mid in this area. Uh, Crisito is also a nice player. That was a card that I think had a card last year or the year before uh, where he was in the second league. I want to say, I think he was in the second league. Um, but he was like, he was from like the when they did top 50 rest of the world last year but he was really usable um as a center back i think it was left back or center back i can't remember he's italian though and then we also got malin malin is a big one malin is a card that if you guys remember in the beginning of the year malin was a card that almost everybody was using week one um and i think he could be really fun as well i think malin also got the future stars card but it wouldn't surprise me if ea went ahead and they also gave malin one that's for the obviously the area divisi um so yeah that's that's what we had as our prediction so i mean overall guys looks like a decent team of the season i don't think it's going to be anything nuts i think ronaldo's gonna be the headliner i think that i think the fine line is like does mertens get one does insigne get one do these types of players get one because napoli was playing really bad in the beginning of the year um and for the most part right so they, they had an off year for them in the league it's going to be interesting to see if ea go ahead and give some of these players that maybe aren't the statistically best or teams are the best but they want to make the money and, and obviously like i'm never going to complain for the sake of team of season purposes like they threw an agreement i'm not going to complain really about this stuff too much just unless there's a couple players that don't get left out that really deserved it um i know this happened with the premier league where they had thrown in a couple players that were very questionable there were some guys like ricardo Pereira, i think jack Grealish. there was a couple guys that like really should have gotten team of the seasons um and just didn't get them so i'm hoping that ea don't really take that approach because that approach is is no it's not that it's not fun, but it, I think a lot of people do also want to see these players that perform well with huge upgraded cards. So 
I think to EA, if it's a player, uh, you know, in the future, I, I wish these guys would really boost the heck out of the cards that even if they weren't that good in FIFA, their team of seasons obviously would make them become really usable. And I think that's the point of team of the season. All the cards that are in packs should be um, usable and should be good. So guys, thanks for watching the video tonight. I appreciate you guys, man. As always, guys, with the crazy support. Um, and I will see you guys. Uh, hopefully all I will see you guys in a video. Probably tomorrow morning we'll have another video uh, on the channel. So see you guys then. Bye-bye. Peace.